Okay, we are live here. Um, so I am Moira Gorski. We are trying this stream yard out for the first time. So I am so glad you are here. It's Friday morning and um, hopping on um, again, hopping on here. And if you guys know me, just going to check here. Let's check before we get going to and let me know, Lisa, if you see. I am on, looking on your page for it, your personal Yep, and I my per personal profile. Yeah, I don't see it yet. Although I see two people are watching. So um, huh. let's see. Nope. Hopefully. Oh, we are. We are I, live here. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, we are. So I'm just going to keep going here. So we are live. Um, so anyway, I'm Moira Gorski. Thanks for joining me today. You know, I'm excited to bring Lisa uh, and introduce Lisa to you today, but I'm going to start first by talking myself. If you know me, um, you know that I love um, skincare and I love the skincare that I use. And not only do I love the skincare, but I love the results that I've gotten. And so um, just a little backstory. I've been using Shackley products for 20 years and um, I'm 56. Um, I it was using their skincare product that they had before called Enfusel, and I loved it because it really made a big difference in my skin because I had some surface rosacea and some blotchiness and things like that. And it really evened out my skin tone, take the, the pink and the redness out of my skin. And so I loved it. But then three years ago, Shackley was developing this new skincare line called Youth, and they came to some of us distributors and said, before we launch it out to the field, we'd like to um, have some of our distributors use it and use only the, these products for the next two months, take a before picture and after picture and all that. And um, and so it was free. So I said, sure, let's, and I love Shackley. So I thought I'd give it a try. But quite honestly, I just, I loved already how the NP cell products were working. So I didn't really know how it could be that different. But I, you know, I did, I used the products and I got to tell you in a couple of, in those two months, a uh, huge difference in my skin, just the way that I really feel like it lightened up again, it lightened up my skin even more. I love the way it feels. <laughs> and um, it just continues to um, really be a great product line for me that I really enjoy. And I learned that um, it's such a clean skincare line. And we're going to talk about this next week. We're going to tell you at the end um, how you can learn more about this product line. Um, next week was because we're going to do a Facebook group. We're going to share more and more about the specific products and why it's so clean and why it's such a great anti-aging skincare line. Um, and so again, I'm 56 and I just use it every single day and just love the results that I get from it and love that it's such a safe, again, clean product line. So then fast forward to a couple of days ago, or last week, right? Uh, Lisa was at my house for a meeting. She's a gal, um, a distributor that's on my team and I'm just getting to know her. And she started to talk about her skin and how she had such terrible skin before. And I was like, well, your skin looks great now. And uh, she said, well, I did a few things and it made such a huge difference, like very in a very short period of time. Um, and so I was like, we got to tell people about that. So um, so that's why we're here today, right? Yeah. Lisa? So, yeah. Um, so why don't you tell, um, tell everybody just, again, kind of a little history of your skin, because you were telling me that you had um, cystic acne and you know issues like that. So tell tell us a little bit about kind of where things were before. So well, I'm 37 now, and this probably started back in my early 20s because I didn't deal with acne at all in my teens, which is you know most kids is when they're dealing with it. So um, probably about you know 22, 23, I started getting just really hard nodule type like things in my face. And I'm like, well, what the heck is going on? Um, so I would just, you know, do anything over the counter I could and I wreaked havoc on my face and I had some scarring and I had um, really deep divots in my face and things like that. And what had happened with the cysts is um, they would never come to a point. They would never come to a head. So there was never anything to blast out of there. 
as gross as that sounds. Um, but then it got to the point where it's like, okay, well, something has to be done. I'm picking at these things. I'm destroying my skin. And I know, you know, you, you clean your hands as well as you can. You try to get everything out and it, just doesn't, it never came out. So I ended up starting to see a dermatologist probably about 10 years ago. And uh, every single time I would go in there, it'd probably be at least once every six months. And I would literally have to have the nodules injected, like a cortisone shot in my face. And it was horrible. I used to get one that was deep rooted. And you can almost see a tiny little divot left, which is much smaller than it used to be. Um, and then I used to get one right in my eyebrow and they could never do anything about that one. And it would put, it would get bigger and they would put pressure on my eye and they couldn't touch it because it was so close to my eye. They didn't want to make me go blind in my eye. So, so, the, um, so, so the, so they injected it with cortisone, what to get, to get the swelling no, it down? Shrinks, or it shrinks or? the root. So they're deep rooted um it's not just you know cells and dirt and grime and stuff that normally comes with these things these are deep rooted things and if you don't get that root out of there or you don't shrink that root they do come back mm -hmm. and they come back with a vengeance so i was getting shots every six months in my face and um i tried birth control i tried accutane i tried uh a bunch of different clindamycins um uh masks and things like that over the areas and, and nothing was working um, I fast forward, I had two kids and after my kids, um, they're seven and two, almost three, uh, my hormones went completely out of whack. Uh, my hair broke. I was not, my hair was literally short. Yeah. Um, but then we did, um, you know, just started trying to eat better, trying to first thing the dermatologist said was take dairy out of your diet. And again, it was all around my, like from here down is where they would show up. And um, it just, nothing ever worked. So we tried to take out gluten. We tried to take out dairy. We tried to take out all these things. And I mean, it's in everything already. So you have to be super careful, but nothing seemed to really get it to go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, it's, um, it's not good. No. I mean, and it's just that, that idea of, well, I took one of my sons to the doctor once who had some um, just some acne and stuff from, um, from hockey and hormones and things like that. Yeah. And they talked about Accutane and, you know, gave us the pamphlet that is red and with all the warnings. And um, and I know people that have used it because, again, they've just needed to because of just terrible, you know, skin issues. But, you know, we chose not to. But I, I certainly know the dangers of that. Um, but sometimes we're desperate and, um, I can't imagine getting injected. Um, um, so, um, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine that. So, so how, so how did you, um, cause you're a Kristen with Kristen Jakubowski. Yeah. How did you meet her? How did you start to learn, um, about Shackley? So with, uh, meeting Kristen, Kristen and I actually, um, Kristen's youngest and my oldest went to preschool together. So that's where I met Kristen, I met Christine, I met that whole group of um, people. And um, I uh, was a dental assistant professionally. That was my career um, before kids. And when I had the kiddos and the, okay, when well, Kristen and I met, the kids were two. So I wanted to make sure that I found a um, kid's vitamin that wasn't going to rot their teeth out. So I started for the kids, not for me. And I'm like, okay. That's what a lot of, a lot, a lot of moms do, yeah. right? Yeah, kids come first. So mm -hmm. um, we did that first and I had success. My kids were never sick. I mean, they, kids, you know, they're a cesspool of God knows what. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, starting those and having that work out for them and not come home with a sticky, gross face all the time, like most of the kids in some sort of preschool or daycare, um, that was really what turned me on to Shackley as a whole. And then I decided as, as things, you know, progressed and I noticed the changes with the kids, um, I, my husband and I both decided to kind of go gung ho and, and do the prove it challenge. And that's what really started, really kickstarted our journey for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So within the prove it challenge, for those that aren't familiar with it, the prove it challenge is a great a simple system for somebody new like you or really anybody, but somebody new 
that wants to get started in changing some routines and you know resetting uh, some bad habits, it's a great um, 30 day program, if you will, that you can get started with that adds uh, great vitamins, minerals and protein into your daily diet. Um, but there is a choice that if you want to, you can start with a seven day cleanse. And so that's what you did. Um, the seven day cleanse is not like this scary juice cleanse or you have to chew on carrots just all day and that's all you eat. Um, it is a wonderful, um, it's kind of like, although my vegetarian friends would say not exactly, but it's kind of like eating vegetarian for a week. Um, but it's basically eating unlimited vegetables, some fruits, and taking some targeted supplements to help to detox on the inside and reset on the inside. So things um, like alfalfa and a probiotic and a, you know, a product that helps to detox the liver and an herb lax. And so um, it's a wonderful program, you know, that we eat soups and stir fries and salads and all kinds of really cool things. So you did the seven day cleanse and I don't know why you did this, why you took a picture beforehand. But so I, I just wanted to document like, was this legit? Cause the yeah. thing was, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had, like I said, starting with all of this acne stuff, I had taken out dairy, I had taken out gluten, I had done all of this stuff and it just was like, all right, I'm going to take my weight. I'm going to take my measurements and I'm going to take a picture of my face because my mm -hmm. face, I know you were going to post the picture, but um, my face was on the break of needing at least three of them injected. There was one up by my nose. There was one down in my chin. There was, it was everywhere. Um, so when we did the cleanse, it was the end of April, beginning of May quarantine time. My mm -hmm. dermatologist office was 90% furloughed. I couldn't get in. Oh. So with, that part of it and i'm like i'm at my last hail mary here throw me something mm -hmm. because something has got to work and um i actually signed on as um, a distributor at that point because my dental office that i was working at was closed because we had no idea when we were going to open again and what the protocol was going to be so i'm like well i got to generate some income too so that's when i signed on like that mm -hmm. um and i'm not well, I'm Put this up here and see. Yeah. I when this is over because I'm still new to Streamyard. I'm yeah. gonna post it. But that's yeah, you your the one up by my nose was really bad. The one in the middle of my chin, like that was just it was deep. It was in there. Like I felt it on the inside of my mouth. That's mm. how deep rooted that one was. Yeah. Um. So that's day one. Right. And of your plan, right? Don't know nothing. That's day one. And that redness was just horrible so um day seven you'll see again i mean we did we were strict on it we did all fruits veggies we didn't cheat nothing no coffee no nothing no protein no protein no protein never we really did it i mean my husband's like if i'm doing this with you we're doing it yeah. um so after that seven days i mean the alfalfa that inflammation for sure. I know that that's the kicker for me because now I continue to take it because after I got off the cleanse and I started adding things back in, I added pro light proteins like chicken and pork first. But then when I went to go add in dairy, cheese, that is my trigger. I can't have an ounce of cheese at all. And it's weird because I can bake with milk. I can do all that stuff and nothing's a problem. It's just when I have cheese. Mm. And we are a dessert tray type of people with the cheese and crackers and grapes and things like that. Not yeah. sweet kind of stuff. So well, it's that's good that you found, good that you did like your elimination thing and you yep. found that out. I mean, this is the, again, this is the after picture in just seven days. I mean, yeah. that's incredible. It was huge. And, whoops, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, that was huge. In the seven days. One in my chin was gone. The mm -hmm. one in my face, I, I will admit, I picked at that a little bit because I was so frustrated with it, but it left a little divot, but now that divot is gone. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just by taking the alfalfa and getting that inflammation out of there, and I really, with getting the toxins out of, you know, everything else, your liver, your kidneys, everything, I really feel that that was it. So mm -hmm. now we can, I continue with the youth cleanser and then we still do the strip a day and the shake a day too. 
So I'm taking those probiotics. I'm taking all the extra stuff to get all that still in there. And then I do do the greens uh, in the morning and at night. And then the other thing that I did add, which is a whole nother topic, but yeah, hold on. Let's hold, so hold on a okay. second. So then with the prove it challenge, so you did the cleanse. Awesome. And so then the next step is once you're done with that seven days that you move into um, a strip of vitamins and, um, and a protein shake every day. So, you know, I tell people our cells are made of vitamins, minerals, and protein. And so if we give them good vitamins, minerals, and protein, then our cells are going to be happy. They're going to look good. They're going to feel good. So you did that. And now you're building those healthy cells, which, um, again, will help you in so many different ways, you know, your skin included. And again, next week, we're doing a Facebook group for three days. So you'll be able to learn all about this. And so if you want to, if you're listening to this and you want to be part of that group, make sure you put a comment below and say, add me to your group, because we will um, go ahead and do that and share that group. So, um, so that's great. You're continuing on with that. And again, things like the green things like alfalfa, like the greens booster, which some people may not know, it's a powder that Shackley has that you can put it in, in your shakes. And it's um, one little scoop is worth a cup of, um, a telemarketer is calling me. Um, <laughs> I like that my phone tells me that a telemarketer is calling me so I don't answer it, right? Um, and so the one scoop of it is um, worth a, um, a cup of organic, uh, what, broccoli, kale and spinach, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you can add, so anything green helps to alkalize our system and pull that inflammation down. So again, another great reason why the cleanse not only um, helps us feel better, but it can really impact, you know, our skin. Um, what other did, did you feel like, did you, did you lose weight? Did you sleep better? Did you have more energy? What other things happened after those seven days? So my personal journey, I lost nine pounds in seven days. Wow. Yeah. Huge. And I, I am one who has always been a little bit on the not heavy side, but thicker side. Um, and it's crazy because the rest of my family is all tiny little rails. But um, yeah, I did the nine pounds for those seven days. My face cleared up. Um, my sleep was much, much better. My energy level was better because I have, again, I have a seven and a half year old who's in second grade now. And I have an almost three year old and they're both boys. So they're high energy. <laughs> I know. I met one of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a great yeah, guy. He's, He's, like, yeah, one. He's like, got a lot of energy. Right. Yeah. So, and then um, my husband works a pretty crazy job. So it's pretty much all on me. Um, but the nine pounds from there, and that was the end, or that was the beginning of May. And now we're in the middle of August and I'm down 20 pounds total. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know that. And that is only from the strip a day the shake and we do do so I did the cleanse and then day eight I transitioned into intermittent fasting mm. so my husband did intermittent fasting and starting in November and lost 35 pounds from November until January but then he plateaued and he's like okay fine I guess I'm not going to move the scale anymore nothing's going to change then enter the cleanse after that he's lost an additional 20 pounds he's from a 38 waist to a 32 waist and wow. then I have that additional 20 pounds gone too. So I've gone from like 180 to 160. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Huge. That's Huge. awesome. Yeah. I mean, what I love about the cleanse and the you know, what I love about the Prove It Challenge is that it just helps you kind of establish some new routines and it helps mm -hmm. your body just um, just kind of adjust itself. I mean, I did, I don't know if you guys know, but I have a podcast about um, health and wellness and overcoming addictions. And I did an interview yesterday with a gal who's a real expert on inter, or, um, intuitive eating. And we had a really, it was so informative. I wanted to interview her because I wanted to learn more about intuitive eating because it's not just for those that have an eating disorder, but many of us have disordered eating of some kind. And being really learning about intuitive eating can really, really change your whole relationship with food and your body and things like that. So it was really cool. And we talked about that set point that our body, if you give it what it needs, you know, with our foods and our rest and our mindset and all that, then it gets to, it can, it'll go easily to that set point, you know, and it may not be that you're going to be rail thin, but you're going to get, your body's just going to get to that set point and you're going to be good. So that's what I love about that prove it challenge. Um, and so the next thing is, 
uh, we are women. So uh, when our hormones shift, I remember this again, when I was in childbearing years, our hormones shift around and we, our skin tends to, one of the wonderful side effects of our hormones changing is that our, um, our skin, you know, I used to have breakouts along here, you know, when I had my period, stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, t tell us a little bit if you want about your hormones or what you, what you did um, to help to balance your hormones too. So this is really digging deep, but um, <laughs> it's okay. here no, I, this is part of it that a lot of people probably do need to hear because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, surgery is their last resort. And in February I had my annual and I talked to my doctor and I was having really bad periods and I was having just lots and lots of issues. And then my face and everything was just a hot mess. So that was two years, you know, after the, the last, last kiddo. Um, and my option was to have an ablation. So I was basically sterilizing myself. And I was devastated because I didn't want that to have to be what I had to do to myself to make myself feel better. I knew there had to be something natural, some better way to balance things without just cauterizing everything. So, and then that throws your hormones out of whack again, too. And it messes with your skin. It messes with your, just everything, your mental health, everything. So um, I had scheduled it. I was ready to do it. It was set for the middle of April and then quarantine hit and that's an elective surgery. So it did not need to be done. So I got postponed. Good. And another, another yeah, good. It's like a godsend. Um, yeah. But then, you know, we, we enter in that prove it challenge again, got everything in. Uh, basically under control. I wasn't taking any kind of synthetic birth control hormone or anything, no IUD, no nothing. Um, and after I did the prove it challenge and noticed that the skin and the changes and the weight and things like that, things started to balance out a little bit more. I felt better with anxiety. I felt better with my cycle. It got a little bit better, but there was still a little bit of issues. So then I actually entered in I added the greens back in. So I take the alfalfa in the morning and at night, and then I added in the GLA. And the GLA really has helped, I feel, you know, I take one in the morning and I take one right before bed. And I feel that that has really balanced everything out. I don't have the clotting anymore. My face is much, much better. My hormones, I don't feel that PMS rage right before it's starting to happen. So I really, I owe it to that. Yeah. that things have been, I mean, even my husband's like, well, you're much better than you were before. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice when the husband's happy, right? Yeah. yeah so GLA, GLA is omega, is an omega, omega six. I told you I have trouble yes. with something. Omega six, uh, gamma linoleic acid. And um, that's what it does is it helps to balance our body processes, um, helps to balance our hormones. Um, I've sold a lot of it to women that have called and said, Hey, Amy told me that this really helps her with her cyclical headaches and with her moodiness around her, you know, can I have that? And, you know, again, I'm well past menopause, but it was a godsend um, for that, you know, getting things to be more regular. So you've got that. And then, um, and then you've just started to use a couple of, because I'm so excited for you to use, to mo use more and more of the youth, not just the cleanser. And again, we're going to share this next week, why these products not only great to cleanse your face, but they really can help um, uh, sh um, uh, reverse your signs of aging um, and really heal your skin. We're gonna share that next week, why that works. So, cause you're just using a couple of the youth products now, right? Well, right now I'm just on the cleanser. I actually have a few things on order. I wanna do the under eye and I wanna do the moisturizer. Um, my biggest thing is, I have very uh, profound lines on my forehead. I'm like, I'm not even 40 yet. Um, but the other thing I did um, met, not notice, well, I notice now with my skin is that I had had uh, a spot on my lip that would dry, peel, crack, fall apart, and it had a vicious cycle to itself. Another thing that I was seeing my dermatologist for, and I didn't really notice it until a couple of weeks ago when I went to go actually put makeup on, cause you know, quarantine, we don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I went and I put lipstick on, and I put a lipstick on that I hadn't used in a while. And I'm like, it covered the spot. That mm -hmm. never happened before. That spot would always like slough off and not let any lipstick. And now oh, yeah. 
it's not having an issue at all. That tissue is no, it, there's no um, deep hardened thing in there anymore. Um, and I never did anything to it. It was all just cleaning all the stuff and then obviously cell repair. So right. that's why I have been dealing with that spot for 15 years. It yeah. would just have its vicious cycle. And I mean, this stuff makes me excited. This is why I love what we do. Again, we're not here to diagnose and treat and, you know, do all those things. But the fact is, um, when you, well, the fact is what we put in ourselves and on ourselves and around ourselves, that's what I've learned in the 20 years and know from nursing a little bit too. It may, makes a difference in how we feel, how we look, how we age. And it's so exciting when you can find products that are safe, um, that you can use, that can make a difference in the way that you feel and the way that you age and the way that you look. So I just get excited. You know, that's why I wanted to come and share your story with everybody because they just continue to happen. Um, again, when you take a chance, sometimes we kind of, um, again, get to that point where like, no more, no more yeah. doctor, no more, whatever. I got to find something different. And I'm so glad that you were brave enough to, you know, start with your kids first, but again, saw those, those great, um, the great effect with them and thought, you know, you're worth it too. And your husband are worth it. And so, you know, tried, tried those things. Cause, um, it's only just the start of, uh, um, because again, we'll talk about it next week, but there's these really cool little gold squiggly things, um, that a couple of my boys have used who again, have had some, um, acne and some scarring and it's, taken it away. So it's really cool. I mean, I should have taken it before and after, but my boys were like, oh, I don't think so. So, but I've seen it and they've seen it, but it, and it really does. Um, it, again, it, it gives you the wonderful nutrients that your skin needs to help repair it and help to continue to accelerate that repair in a natural way with no dangerous chemicals, with no dangerous additives and um, just really, really good stuff. So um, I think that's all we wanted to share today. Anything that, um, Anything else that I, I forgot? I don't think so. I mean, the, just cleaning everything out was what really did it for us. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I took that side by side when I made that little collage and you'll see, you guys will see yeah. it. It is just, and yeah. I'm in a cystic acne group and everybody's like, what the heck did you do? You got your, you don't look like you've ever had a problem in your life. And I'm like, I have a story and I want to share it with you. So yeah. It, yeah. anybody that's out there that wants to chat, I am more than willing to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. And like I said, post below. Um, if you listen to this and you want to be added to the group, we'll be doing that next week. Again, just a private uh, Facebook group. We'll share for a few days because there's lots to share. Um, we'll have some other stories like this and some other um, before and afters and just give you an opportunity to learn more about these products, be it the Prove It Challenge, um, the vitamins, protein, cleanse, um, the uh, GLA, and also the whole youth product line, which um, again is the best. Uh, it is just the best that I found and really the cleanest skincare line that you will find. And that's what so is, is it's so important to me and so many others that um, they're safe for us because that's really what we need to be working on today. This is like a quarantine, like you said, is it's a um, it's a dress rehearsal for the rest of our lives. So um, um, again, I'm glad that quarantine has moved you into that space of taking care of yourself and your skin and your kids and your family. And I encourage other people to do that too. So thanks for joining us. Yay for the Yay. first dream yard, right? It's yeah, a little, great. Um, yeah, I'm glad that we did this. I'm glad that you were uh, game enough to come on because I wanted to try stream yard. Sure. Um, because it's just a little bit different. And next time I'll learn how to do the share the screen so we can show a picture with us in it or whatever. So again, thanks for listening today. Um, again, you can, um, I believe, share this with others uh, by doing a watch party. Um, but um, we'll see you next week in our group. And thanks for joining us. And thanks, Lisa, for coming on too. You're welcome.